We're looking at what we've got. I'm looking at a season where we could win the four major trophies we're competing in, right? I've never done that in football manager. We're going for football manager immortality right now. You know, we're in a, a solid spot in the Premier League right now, a good competitive spot in the Premier League. We have obviously been barnstorming in the Champions League, seven wins from seven. I've never seen a team win all eight league matches. We have a chance to do that. FA Cup's just getting going. We got Stockport. And we are in the League Cup final against Chelsea. So we're headed to Wembley against Chelsea for a second straight season. We lost the FA Cup final to them last year. So we are off and running on our transfer business today. Can I get 50 million for Simone and Scotta? Now, let's see if our hero, as somebody called him, the German oak, the German giant, the beast of all beasts, simply the greatest player ever created, Dominic Pavlak. Let's see if old Dom is interested in having a little, having a little conversation here. We're going to match his uh, release clause, and we will know basically immediately whether he wants to talk to us. Okay, how about a 19.5 uh, base salary? All right, Simon Gutza. That's a lot of money. I'm nauseous. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, he wants a new contract. Oh, my goodness. I thought Regevich was going to be upset about playing time, and I was like, that is not well-timed, man. You could have waited a little bit. Okay, he may actually might not be upset. Hold on. Let me just explore. So his contract runs out in 2035. I can feel it. I can feel it in the breeze. He, he wants to double his salary, which... This isn't the best time to be doubling your salary, to be honest. All right, man. Don't act like you're not going to take the 9.1 million base salary that I just bullied you into. So it's less than doubling his salary. I will Now that we know that we can get a deal done, I'll go ahead and promise him that we're going to get him a new contract. I appreciate it. Say that. Dude. One hand helps the other. St. Etienne apparently potentially interested in Simone Scota. That would be nice. They've got that Cabela Mocha win of money. I don't think it would be a bad signing for them. They just sold their star striker that I, St. Etienne was the team I coached previously. Of course, they didn't actually show up. Okay, this is a match we should be winning. It's a match we should be winning very easily. I go with McIntosh. He needs some development on the left side, and it is match day one on the stream. I feel like playmakers are usually one of the easier things to find. There's always some wonder kid out there with great touch, vision, and passing. It's the ones that have the athleticism, too, that become... Oh, look at this. From Belchior Canilio. Canilio. Oh, and he's got Lucius! Proper celebrations of the uh, FA Cup holiday are in order. Marcelo Enrique, 2-0. See you later, homies. McAvoy. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, guys, guys, guys! And so I try not to be mean to those people, but real estate developers in the state of Florida that refuse to take me off of a list and keep calling me even though I'm not Esteban, uh, the, uh, I have no mercy for them. What a goal, by the way. What an absolute banger for Marcelo Enrique. Guy's an elite box-to-box -box midfielder in League One. Found his level. Lucius Enrique Colombo. Oh, it's Canelio. It's an oops. Goal to make it 4-1 for Belchior Canelio. And we are going to the next round of the FA Cup. Thank goodness. Yeah, Marcelo Enrique finally found his Brazilian passport. That's such a good way to say it. I love that chirp so much. He really did, though. Dude plays like some sort of Brexit baller from the lower leagues. Big, tall, strong ball winner. How's that dude coming out of the favelas? You know, there's no way. The unveiling of Mr. Miguel Lucius. Ah. Oh. And Luca Jash, I guess. Luca Jash is going to get himself a new face, too. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Miguel Lucius. Dude's got a little of that German ancestry, you know what I'm saying? And there's Luca Jash of Australia. 
He's done it! The new gun face pack has been applied. Absolute scenes. Look at Josh Lunds to get him some playing time. No, he's our number two keep. He's also started our last two games. All right, that's 20 million for Ingley and McAvoy. That allows us to go get Simeonovic. Simone Skoda for 45 million. We just did the two deals that we wanted to do. Absolute freaking scenes, chat. Absolute scenes. Okay, that's, I mean, it's still a very good team that we're sending out. Give me Moochite, Kaya, and then Jarrell Hato and Angley and McAvoy just going to chill on the bench. But we've already clinched our uh, top eight finish in the league stage. We're going for the perfect Champions League season right now. And, uh, uh, you know, you can create harder and harder challenges for yourself. Oh, Chikichi. Oh, oh, yes. Doig. Oh, how did that go in? And if you've played FM for a really long time, it's super easy to forget how detailed and difficult the game is to get into and to understand. Uh, you know, it's the same thing as like, you know, people that, oh, he's off, he's off, he's off, he's off. We all know it. How is he, how in the world is he not offside? Because they're saying he's on. The goal's already counted. He looked so far off. That, okay, I'm sorry. That is just not on. That's ridiculous. Really like gazpachos. But uh, Vichy Swa is consistently like my overall favorite soup. Yo, why is this popping up right now? Because that was a sick goal. Hey, it's Mark Rodriguez to make it 3-1 bungled in and it's sub time baby they can play their way back in but there is some champions league drama oh no kazu kanda just got hurt that is deeply unfortunate that kazu kanda has just picked up an injury all right Hendrik, go out there and make an impact in your 27 minutes but now we are going to be a little thin at the right wing position going into a very crowded february come on kazu they were great against servette Oh, Kieran Toll, that's four. It's 4 1. Tottenham Hotspur are going to have the first perfect league stage in Champions League history. I think so. I actually don't know that for a fact, and I should look it up. Uh, 19, 20, 22. Oh, no, Real Madrid did it in 2028. And that is only one team. Real Madrid five years ago. Sorry. Yes, Real Madrid. 29, 30, 31, 32. Real Madrid four years ago. Five years ago. <laughs> One nil to Pilsen's also great. Yeah, that'd be great, but God, the meme if they're man if they manage to hold yet another nil-nil. The memes. So good. That was a really nice goal, also. So Jurgen Klopp is still a better manager right now. But Xabi Alonso is about to have a season better than any season that uh, I, I mean this with confidence. Oh, what a goal. Mujahid Kaya with an incredible late brace here. Oh, he looks so good. It, it, like, that, that, give, that puts it in perspective. As dominant as Bayern Munich was, they were never able to do what Bayer Leverkusen's on the cusp of doing right now. And obviously, Leverkusen has the extra challenge of overthrowing the Bayern dynasty. They don't have to play Bayern again. They're done playing Bayern, right? So they, as long as they take care of business against teams not named Bayern, they can do it. AFCON reminder. Thank you. Time to go look at AFCON teams. That was a nice win. Fortunately, not a bad injury for Conda. Three to four weeks with a rolled ankle. He'll be back in no time. And another $3 million check. Thank you very much, UEFA. Show me the wonder kids, dude. All right. We are scouting AFCON with our robust scouting service. Today's the day, chat. Rajovic accepted his new contract. We've extended him out to 2036. We are very okay. Come on, Pavlok. There he is. New contract for Regevich, four years, $47.5 million. He's happy with his new deal, which is sick. Simone Skoda is happy with being sold. Sek is happy with his playing time. Mujahid Kai is happy with his playing time. We are about to bounce back in our locker room atmosphere so hard. 
We got the dude. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Dominic Pavlak, the single biggest check I've ever written in football manager for an absolute god of a player. And I think it's worth it, chat. $131 million release clause for a 23-year-old. It is a lot of money, but he is an incredible player in the spine of a team who makes an impact wherever he is on the field. He likes a big match, pretty adaptable, brilliant mindset. This guy's going to have, he's, he's got the business and he is a world-class superstar. Absolute machine. Only 15 dribbling. He's 12th in dribbles per 90 in the entire Bundesliga. So I'm thinking he's still able to, he's still able to cook. It's peanuts. It's peanuts, Chet. It's Dominic Pavlak in a monster switch to Tottenham. And a boon in the January transfer window for a bona fide star. Dominic Pavlak. All right, guys. Youth team player or former youth team player, England McAvoy is on the move for $20 million to West Brom. Seven caps for the English national team, but I think England's just out of left backs or something. If Zealand bottles with this team, he should uninstall the game. I did say, I don't know if you guys remember the promise that I made after we bottled everything last season. I, I did make a promise that we actually might be able to satisfy sooner rather than later. I, I was going to uninstall FM if we didn't win a major trophy. That, if we didn't win a trophy this year, right? And I'm fine with that. $20 million for England and McAvoy to West Brom. Deal is done. Signed, sealed, delivered. Have a good one. Simone Skoda, please do not fail a fitness test. Thank you. Okay. Got a, I would love for us to get like an early dominant performance here. So it's Gongstead, Lewis, Hato, Inacio, Vandevin, Guerra, Rodriguez, Indrik, Seca, Kaya, and Dominic Pavlak starting as the attacking, uh, the advance forward. I'm putting him up top. How do you not, I mean, with the 18 jumping reach and the strength and the finishing and the passing, I mean, it's good God. Gets this dangerous possession at the top of the box. Ooh, he's taking deep free kicks now. Oh, they're leaving Indrick alone. They're leaving Indrick alone! I'd like to see this go to Bellarmino Seca. Kaya's fine. Kaya, dude. Little stale. That pass is a little stale. That was on fullback. Endrick. Oh, Endrick. Oh, that's Pavlak. Oh, it's a penalty. It's clear as day. That's the only reason he didn't win that. Is it is an obvious foul. Where is Pavlak on this? Why is he so... Why does he have four... That is remarkably bad. All right, Javi Guerra. You've been our penalty taker for basically the whole time I've been here. Deep breath. Oh, well done. Oh, well done that from Javi Guerra. Oh, let's go. Indrick. Easy. 3-1. He gets it on that left foot with nobody in front of him. It's going in the back of the net. Oh, Kaya. Oh, there it is. And it's 4-1. They are simply inevitable. Well, he absolutely could. I can play him as my deep-lying midfielder. He's, he's good enough at defense. No, I like Kieran Tall. Kieran Tall is just more of a natural advance forward while Pavlok's great at everything. Oh, that's off. He's off. Hey, ref! Come on. He's just getting frustrated because he's not as good as Seca. All right? He's just getting frustrated because he's not as good as Seca. Get him off. You want listen to offers for Seca? I don't know, dude. No player in the game is worth, you know, 250 million. And that's what I feel like we could get for him. That is so nasty. <laughs> Canelio is a depth option, man. He's putting in that work. Hato, seven. Jarrell Hato, our previous biggest sign. What? It was disallowed. Uh, 
goalkeeper obstruction. Come on. Was he on, dude? Was he actually? He was. 7 1 after all. It's Michael Coyote. Oh, that is so cheap. What a free kick by Canelio. Coyote with a pretty brilliant technical left footed volley there. Brian, respect, dude. Thank you for the 13 months. We got nothing out of Pavlok in that game, too, which is the scariest thing. We were cooking with everybody else. Dominic Pavlak wasn't even there yet. He's just learning everybody's names, running around, having a good time. All right. Anyways, I can do one of the deals that I want to do. If we go to target acquired and just sort by potential, there should be some guys here that make sense as transfers. Uh, the one that obviously stands out to me the most is Sime Janovic. Everybody continuously agrees that this dude has um, incredibly bright potential. Uh, and so I am going to spend the limited amount of money to bring him in. And he is a long-term loaning project, but we are, you know, we've got two spots left in our under 21 player allotment. And so I will send 7 million for Sime Janovic, assuming I'll be able to get that money back out. Those guys are a little too young. They won't count towards this season's allotment. We could go to Daniele Lodato. That's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for Daniele Lodato. If we can get this sale of uh, Skoda through, then I'll get Lodato. Hi, because I can get Shime Janovic. My scouts have agreed on this for a long time. Yeah, obviously, we're going to be looking for a loan there, Hotshot. Um, need to lower your base wage so that I can get those loans quite easily. It'll be harder to decide in the last second. How's Lola Miller Bad Boy doing? He's added some agility to his game, but I have a terrible feeling that he has... Not really played. Yeah, he's he's wilting. Kind of makes me want to save him. How much is he? Oh, his contract's running out, and he's extremely interested. I am going to save him. I am going to save him. Oh, he can't. Sag chat. We need all the sages we can get in the chat right now. He can't get a work permit. That's not the Simone Skoda sale. Simone Skoda... No, they Lorenzo Sage has moved to Everton, though, so we are now in the same league as our former player that we found in the Mozambican League way back in the day. We signed him at St. Etienne for 37 and a half thousand. He became a star player and was sold for 68 million. I'm assuming that's got a chance to rise to 80. Yeah. Uh offers for Simone. Yeah, okay, no. Okay, good. Good. Yes. Good, yes, he accepted the $45 million deal to go to St. Etienne. And this ends up being a really good deal for us. We signed him for $30 million, selling him on for 45 million after he played well for us. We thought he'd end up being sold for a lot more than that, at least 60. million. But, you know, we added really talented attacking players. There's no room for him in the team anymore. So we make a tidy profit and we move on. What position do we have less depth at? This position. So I'm going to go after Velasco. The squad player is, is not going to happen. So that might be a problem. Find a loan move. Oh, he likes that. Okay, cool. So he's down to find a loan move uh, and do the intensive language course and everything. So that's that actually ended up being great. So now he'll be interested in loan moves, which is really helpful. See, Sime Janovic has no idea that he could eventually be good. Juan Manuel Velasco, very... Oh, I don't like this deal. He plays 21st team matches. He's getting paid more than Regevic. I just wasn't paying attention to how much of an increase this was. We'll renegotiate it if he ever becomes like an actual first team guy. I guess he'll take a, a deal where his way, his base wage is less than that. So Sime Janovic and Juan Manuel Velasco, and then we are going to immediately be looking for loans for them, or they might just hang around the team for a little bit uh, until the end of this season. Sime Janovic, the young Croatian striker, is in. Please tell me somebody's going to... Oh, three offers. That is exactly what I was hoping we'd hear. Uh, three championship teams, two important player. 
All right, Bradford City it is. Velasco granted work permit, and he is willing to join 9.25 million. We've done our deal. Juan Manuel Velasco. Let's see if we can find loans for Velasco. And that, dude, this is great news. Adding that thing where they come in. Oh, Premier League? Premier League regular player? Premier League important player? Dude, adding that thing where you put the whole loan thing in there, that is so huge. Because we're able to loan these guys out so efficiently on deadline day. This is an I this is a perfect deadline day. We've got Janovic is headed to the championship. Let's freaking go, dude. That's a Premier League loan for Juan Manuel Velasco, who we just signed for $9 million. Oh, he's going to be worth some cash. Miguel Luzius isn't interested in speaking to Lons. Well, say no more, fam. I'm happy keeping you here. Biggest spenders, Tottenham. Not a surprise because we did close the biggest deal of the transfer window. But we only signed three players and we loaned two of them back out. We're going to be in a great spot. How are they playing? Oh, how original. A 4-2-3-1 with defensive midfielders and my former star player, Dayan Kulazewski, right in the middle of your formation. Well, catch these hands. It was just a bad touch. He only has 17 first touch. There we go. That's some good interplay. Ooh, Bellarmino Seca. Oh, my. Yeah, who's better, Dominic Kish or uh, Pavlak? Pavlak's a better passer. Kish is just a big center forward. Oh, my goodness. Darrell Hato's on fire. It's his second goal in as many matches. That's a problem. Yep, there it is. That dude is unplayable. And if Gongstead's not going to come out to get that ball, that is an issue. Kevy Kev, thank you for the 23 years. months. I love the familiarity you get with players like that. The save. Like, I've never coached Finn Berlin. I just know who he is. Play him. Oh, Vandevin. Actually, this is fine. Actually, excellent work, Mickey. Oh, my God. It's Kieran Tall. Reports of his demise. Greatly over-exaggerated. Another good win. Not an easy place to come and play with the amount of money they've got on the field. But money isn't going to win you games. It's quality, baby. And that's what we're all about. Their amazing superstar, Sergio Luis, got one back, but we kept them bottled up. So why don't you just force yourself out of the league instead of any of the save? I don't know. It doesn't sound fun to me. I, I get that's like a fun way to continue saves for some people, but like, we've gone from no badges or playing experience to now we are on the cusp of that kind of glory, like that shabby Alonzo type of glory where you accomplish something so incredibly amazing, with a, especially with a club that is not exactly prone to that type of success. Hello, Tottenham. All right, that is a minorly rotated team that still allows us to have a very good team on the field for this match that is important because Leicester is good and we want to have a good team on the field for it. All right. Can't see a deeper lying forward there. We just need to go out and take it to him. Hell yeah, brother. Pavlak. Kaya. Oh, see you later, buddy. Have fun in Narnia. Oh, Kaya is on one today, and it is really fun to watch. All right, there's our tactical shift. How's our, how's our fitness and our ability going at the other uh, positions? Okay. Get the fresh ideas in there, guys that believe in themselves. Get the Rodriguez up there to stir the pot and be huge like he is. Chikichi. Oh, let's go, Kaya. Yes. Easy, dude. Quick little adjustment. Mujahid Kaya finds the goal. Good, just in a vacuum. If it's over 200 million, I'm selling him. I don't care really who it is. That is an unbelievable amount of money, and that is absolutely ridiculous that that ball just went in. Dude. Mujahid Kaya, maybe that'll help us connect with the midfield a little bit more. Oh, please. Oh, what a time for a set-piece goal. Oh, Kieran Toll! We hit the post twice in the last minute and a half. That sucks. That really sucks. 
That's a really harsh draw. All right, 13 matches left. Let's do it. And we've got Norwich at home, and this has got to be an absolute obliteration. Okay, Doig off. Rodriguez and Jarrell Hato are not available for this match because of the congestion. Easy. If you are negotiating a contract, you can look in the bottom left and see what is, like, the true value, or the true wage impact is what I normally call it, of a contract. Guerra. Oh, he's in. Shigichi! Who's managing City? It's Didier Deschamps. And Pep got fired by Arsenal, even though he won the league with them last year. Shikichi, oh my goodness, was that onside? That is the most Man City goal I've ever seen. I mean, there's such an obvious pass here. Thank you, Hendrick. Back to Lewis and chip it in. Oh, there it is. There's Seca. That's easy. All righty. How about 2 0? How many do you guys want? We're running it up. <laughs> Two to eat here and then two to go. Pavlok, Seca, and that's his second. Bellarmino, second with a quick fire brace, and I believe key highlights are in order, my good man. Oh, yeah. After five seasons in a zero to hero. Oh, my God. Was that legit? Holy smokes. Um. All right. Hugo Satello with just a, I mean, wow. Did not see that coming. Thought they didn't have the quality for bangers. I mean, apparently uh, that dude does. Oh, Pavlok, there it is! And then we have the Zealandism channel where um, there I it, it's literally just a couple of videos a day of me sitting there talking about what's going on in the world of football. And that's also been a lot of fun. New channel is ridiculously OP. It has taken off rather quickly. That's been fun. I've really, I've really enjoyed kind of being a part of, of that. Okay, these are backups. Uh, we do have five days until we play Chelsea in the EFL Cup final, so we can put the starters on the bench and hope that everything works out. But this is a backups team. This is not, not going for the starters. So Rodriguez is down there. Okay, that's the team. Every league match is very important. DeChambeau won the U.S. Open. Really? I did not think he actually had a major. I thought he was one of those guys that... Oh, yes! Oh, good touch from Kaya. The press is, su uh, the press is suffocating. Tall. Oh, Regevic. It's Kaya all the way home. They are two... Freaking good, man. But it, because it's been so long since I heard that, like, like, I didn't even realize, I didn't even think about that until just now, but fair. From the clubs you visit oh, finish that. Easy. Easy. You know, really anything can happen. I show goals and assists for the team. Yeah, we can go take a look at that. Sure. Okay. Mark Rodriguez pulled his calf two days before the cup final, so he's out. That's not great. That is less than ideal. We love Mark Rodriguez. He is one of our fantastic players. Well, that does make the decision for me about how I'm going to line up my midfield. It's going to be Javi Guerra deep and Pavlok going forward, which means we are probably going to start Kaya and George. Yeah, that sucks. Mark Rodriguez convincingly long enough that he can't play in it. I'm not going to give him the shot because we have so much to play for this season. We just want him to get back and fit as fast as he can. Wade Guerra's suspended. You're so right. So that injury was way more painful than uh, I think anyone realized. Because now we are missing two midfielders that we like. Rather have Doig. So that's the team. Now that we, you know, freaking Javi Guerra is suspended for a cup final because that shouldn't be possible at all. It's a lot of CK3 streams. I mean, bottles all four. Hey, we're going to win all four. All right? We're going to win all four freaking trophies. That's the only thought process we want in this chat right now. We're going to win all four trophies. What? Nervous? Yeah. No, well, well, look, everything was going according to plan last season until we bottled the League Cup.
We lost 1-0 in the semifinal to, like, Nottingham Forest or something. It was an absolute disaster. So, everything is going according to plan, and now we're in the League Cup final. And we play Chelsea, who beat us in the FA Cup final last year. So there's, like, residual scar tissue. I'm very nervous. Tottenham Hotspur has not won. We got we to look at this. Tottenham Hotspur has not won a domestic cup. The FA Cup was last won in 91. The League Cup was last won in 2008. The Premier League was last won in 1961. They, they have not won a domestic major trophy since 2008, which is 24 years ago. 24 years ago was the last time that Tottenham won a major domestic trophy in England. We can end it today. Yeah, no big deal. Cup final in Wembley with Tottenham. It's all right. This is what we do. We are totting some ham today. Manager Zeeland Shannon has already ended the trophy drought with a Europa League crown in his inaugural season. But this is a team with so much more on its mind. <sighs> oh, it's Kaya. It's Mujahid Kaya. He's offside. He was always offside. Oh, the catch jam. That, that song melts my face every single time. Caicedo. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Good shape. That's her first shot of the whole match, I think, so. That's uh, just not a lot going in this here first half. Seca. Oh, it's such a good spot on the field. And that's why he won the ball back, because he's a god. That's a tough time for the $116 million defender, uh, defender to make a mistake like that. Jesus. Absolutely nothing in this match, too. Let's get it right back. Let's just bungle a ball in. We'll get it right back. Hato! Oh! Immediate redemption for Jarrell Hato! It's an instant, immediate reply. Sensational from Jarrell. A moment of infamy erased. What a goal and what a time to score it. As they're still they're still doing it. They're still keeping their line real high. They're still stepping up on our uh, distribution like that. Oh, Chikichi, what a play. George Chikichi. It's still George Chikichi. All right. We have some op oh. We also have a set piece. Oh my goodness, come on. Hato again, unbelievable! He's gone from the clown to the head of the circus, Jarrell Hato. Unbelievable cup final from the big money center half. He makes the mistake and he scores two goals in Wembley. Wow, what a response by Jarrell Hato. Legendary response by Jarrell Hato to a huge mistake. Oh, Kanda, Rajevic. Chinis Rajevic, Kanda, to hold. Oh, he could have ended it. You have to give it to Inacio. Thank you. He's the one they're leaving open. Come on, Rico, not the captain. Anybody but my captain. Good run. Oh, yes, Seca! Yes, that is Tottenham lifting a trophy. The League Cup. After 24 years. A major English trophy is going to Tottenham Hotspur. What a weird game that was. I don't have to delete FM. I've waited a long time for this cup. 
a long time. Oh, that was a good feeling bath after the bottle factory we built last season. Thank you guys so much for the great vibes. Excellent Friday stream. Thank you to everybody that subscribed.